Hey everybody, welcome back. Two guitars. One is a Tease, the other is a Squire. And uh, what we're going to be doing is just comparing uh, these two guitars and giving you my personal experience with them now that I've had both for a bit and uh, feelings towards what might be the better value of the two. So here we have the Tease ST1 Strat style guitar. And over here, we have the Squire Debut, and it's also a Strat guitar. So, first off, let's talk about the price of each of these items. So this guy goes for $119.99 on Amazon. That is the normal price. It's typically not on sale. It goes for $119.99. doesn't come with anything other than a tremolo. Uh, bar arm for the tremolo and an allen hex wrench that's it no gig bag no nothing this guy which is the tease st1 comes with the tremolo arm allen hex wrench as well as this gig bag so it does come with a gig bag the price of this is 144.95 so it is slightly more expensive than the squire debut but in my opinion um, it's worth every penny in terms of being slightly more expensive. So let's look at the two guitars head-on, first off. Let's look at the woods of, of these guitars. So the body on the Squire Debut is poplar, which is an inexpensive wood typically used on budget, lower-end guitars. The body, and it, it is a matte-finished body. So there is no gloss at all on the body of this guitar. The neck is unfinished. Um, it's That's where they save money, Squire, on the guitar. This, on the other hand, has a basswood body, and it is gloss, as you can see. There's a polyurethane coating or some coating over the guitar, so it has a glossed finish. The back of the neck also is more of a satiny finish with a, a little bit of a a gloss to it although it is not shiny or sticky but it is finished as opposed to where this thing has the raw feeling on the back of the neck the fretboards are clearly different so you've got a laurel fretboard on the squire debut which is a rosewood substitute and on this guitar you have a maple fretboard the necks are both C-shaped on both guitars. They both have a standard Fender 25 and a half inch scale. This guy has a nine and a half inch radius. This, I believe, is nine and a half inches, although it might be a slightly more. It might be a little bit flatter than this neck. Um, 21 narrow tall frets on the Squire. 22 medium jumbo frets on the tees. They both have ceramic single coil pickups. So there were three ceramic single coils and three ceramic single coils in the tees. Five-way switch, five-way switch. Positions two and four on both of these are noiseless from a pickup set standpoint. One volume, two tone, identical. Here is where you connect... The input jack, same here. The bridges are comparable. You've got a six scat saddle tremolo bridge on the T's, six saddle tremolo bridge on the Squire. I will tell you that the tremolo, uh, the tremolo, the bridge on the T's appears to be a bit sturdier and a bit more substantive than the pot metal bridge on the Squire debut. That's just an initial impression. Um, the tuners, you have sealed, I would imagine, Squire tuners, basic Squire tuners, on this guitar. You have sealed tuners on the T's. However, these are spec'd out at 18 to 1 gear ratio. There is a noticeable difference between the stability of these tuners versus the Squire. There is no stickiness, no slippage that I have observed or experienced on the T's tuners. 
The Squire, not so much. There is a little bit of slippage, although they're pretty good for standard tuners, I have to admit. Both are good. However, the T's do hold tune uh, uh, noticeably better than on the Squire. Your guitar will stay in tune longer without having to retune it. Um, what else? This guitar, the T's, is made in China. This Squire debut is made in China. I weighed both guitars. They both come in at 6.8 ounces. Boy, oh boy, that's light. 6.8 pounds, all right? 6 pounds, 8 ounces, both guitars. Um, what else? I think I covered just about everything. Oh, the nut, that's important too. The nut on the Squire is a plastic, uh, you know, just a cheap plastic nut. The nut on the T's is a bone nut. So it will give you a little bit better tuning stability as well on the nut. And they're both cut relatively good. Uh, another big difference between these two. This has basic import inexpensive nickel frets on this guitar. These have stainless steel frets, so that is also an upgrade on the T's. Um, so let's listen to the guitars now, and then you can, you know, give me in your comments any opinions, thoughts as to what sounds better to you. I have the Squire plugged in, so we'll start off with the Squire first. See if I can get that in in the camera view. Okay, this is going clean through my Catalyst 60 amp. And uh, there are more extensive demos of both guitars on my channel, so if you want to hear it with distortion, clean, blah, blah, blah. I'm playing it clean just for comparative purposes in, in the various positions. So this is the neck position. the neck pickup and the middle pickup. And now just the middle pickup. Middle and bridge. Finally, the bridge only. So that's the uh, Squire debut. Now, we will plug in Zetis and run it through the same drill. Okay, so start off with the neck pickup. neck in the middle. Just the middle pickup. Middle and bridge. Just the bridge pickup. 
Actually, that was the middle in the bridge, excuse me. False alarm. And now, just the bridge pickup. Okay, so you've heard the tease, you've heard the Squire debut. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have a preference of one versus the other. Um, I can tell you from my experience, from a playability standpoint, out of these two guitars, I prefer this tease. Um, the neck is slightly thinner than the neck on the debut. Um, the fretwork is much better on this guitar than it was on the debut. I had to tend to a few sharp frets when I got that guitar. This has rounded frets, so there was no issues at all that needed any attention on the fretwork. The nut is bone on this guitar as opposed to a plastic nut. The frets are stainless steel on this tease as opposed to nickel frets on the, uh, the debut. There were 22 medium jumbo frets on here where there are 21 narrow tall frets. I personally prefer medium jumbos um, from a, you know, just playability standpoint, feeling comfortable with. I'm used to medium jumbos. Um, the gear, the tuners on here are far superior in my opinion. These are 18 to 1 gear ratio tuners versus the standard tuners on the Squire. Uh, it comes with a gig bag, as I mentioned before, as, as all T's guitars do. Basswood body on this guitar that is glossed, so it's finished better, in my opinion. <laughs> Some like, may like matte finishes on the guitar, but I... I think this will wear better over time, and uh, typically it adds to the cost of the guitar. So this has a you know glossed finish on the body as opposed to an all matte finish on the uh, debut. There's also a satin finish, a slight finish on the back of the neck where that thing is almost like a raw wood. You may want to put some finishing on it. Um, weights are the same, 6.8 pounds. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, f look, these are both inexpensive guitars, relatively speaking, right? This does not play like an inexpensive guitar. This thing is every bit as good, if not better, and in my opinion, it is better than the next step up, which is the Affinity, which uh, go for 250 bucks, $100 more than this guitar from Squire. Um, it clearly competes in the affinity area not not the bullet or the or the debut or the sonics which are the bass bare bone guitars from squire um this thing punches way above its weight class in my opinion in price class uh, it's a very very good guitar i think the pickups the stock pickups to my ears sound significantly better on this guitar than on the um squire they're more defined the mids have more clarity um, it's not as screechy as, 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 I don't know, certain ceramic pickups, if they are on, you know, lower end ex inexpensive guitars can give you the muddiness and, and the screechiness. Um, that's the best way for me to describe it. These don't have that, at least to my ears. Um, so the setup, okay, that's another thing out of the box. This was intonated. The string action is set absolutely perfect. Um, no buzzing. Whereas on this guy, the intonation was a tad bit off, which I adjusted. But the string height was relatively good. But I still think this thing out of the box 
was ready to play with no nothing to be done, whereas the Squire debut needed a couple of things, um, a couple of fret ends that needed to be filed down and intonation adjustments. Again, this didn't need anything. So value-wise, I highly recommend the T's ST1 over the Squire debut. And I've had Bullets, I've had Sonics. They're all the same guitars as this, except they have gloss finishes. This thing is not in that league. It definitely competes higher with the Affinity um, line of Squire guitars. And in my opinion, this is a much better value, better guitar, um, better appointments than the Affinity. So those are my thoughts. Let me know yours. Um, any questions, put them in the comments. If you like these videos, guys, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And as always, until the next time, be well and stay safe. Take care.